What's going on, YouTube? Camden here. Whew. Yeah, is it really October? Is it really October? Like, I know I said that in the last vlog, but like it's October. Which equates that next month is November. Which equates that the following month is December and the semester will be over. I'm literally floored. Like, it's been so... Yeah, I don't even understand. So, long story short, we are midway guys we are midway it, we are literally on the way honestly so but that's not what this vlog is about this vlog is a totally different kind of vlog because i felt like um what would be important is to talk to you guys about some things that i experienced as a graduate a graduate student as well as a graduate assistant so it goes half and half so i wrote down some topics that i thought would be of interest and okay there it is okay so the first one is about money like i think that's such a big topic um sit back in my chair because i can so i think money is such a big topic as far as being a graduate assistant because it's like what do you do you know how do you manage your money or whatever because you're working on a budget now you know you're paying bills and doing big things so it's really really different to me honestly so um obviously working as a GA you get paid you know um there's a stipend that comes with it and it is a monthly stipend so that's the thing that's a little bit different if you're used to being paid bi-weekly um having a stipend is something totally different like point blank in the period so I feel like um with it being so different, I've had to learn how to balance my life, balance the budget, and make the money stretch all the way from the beginning of the month to the end of the month because you don't see a check in between unless you have another job, which I do not. I did have another job, but um, I no longer work there, which is fine because I don't feel that it was... Not, it's not that it wasn't helping, but it just... It took a lot of my time. Like, I had no time to do anything that I really wanted to do. I was only doing time... I was only making time to do the things that I had to do, which I don't know if you know, is quite frustrating because you feel like you don't have a, have a real life. Like the other job I was working at, it did not honor school holidays and things like that. So whereas other people would be off, I would still be working. And that's just, that's not okay all the time. Cause you're like, I'm exhausted. Like I do not want to keep working. I need some rest. So I no longer work at that job. So I'm only receiving one check, but it's still, um, so good because it's taught me how to balance money whereas before you know I don't maybe it's not that I wasn't balancing it but I just knew that I could be a little bit more carefree or whatever whatever but that is not what I feel now like I do not feel that it's okay to just be free with money I want to make sure that I'm spending it the right way hold on thank you I got it I, I got it wait notification bye There we go. Okay, oh, got it. Sorry, sorry y'all. Okay, so anyway, um, but I've learned to start working with the money, working with what I have, and that's really different. So, but I have enjoyed it because I actually do like budgeting. It's not, you know, something I don't enjoy, but it's like you sit down with the amount of money that's coming into your home, and then you start to lay out the bills that you have, and then you, you know, you budget in the things you like. Like, I love going to the movies, as you all know, so I budget in that quickly. But I made sure that's at the top of the list because I don't want to... I don't want to not make it part of it so that's one thing and then you also start to budget in things when people ask you to do things you're like oh let's go here and let's go there you know you don't always want to say no because you want to spend some time doing things that you love so what's most important is that you put that kind of money to the side you know pay the most important things first like your rent you know so you have somewhere to stay because that's important I hope everybody got that so uh, that's just kind of what the money is like as a GA and it's um it's something that I really had to get used to, but I enjoy it. It's something new. And those are the skills that I want to take with me to my new life when I graduate. Speaking of new life when I graduate, um, you're probably wondering when my next like estimated graduation date is and what's after. So let's talk about that. So I hope to graduate May 2018, which is the next semester after this one. And that's crazy because that's like this many months away, at least that's how it feels. So I'm like trying to decide, okay, Kimden, where do you want to go? What's next? Like you should want, you should have these things down or whatever. So I have been deciding that I'm looking at jobs. I'm looking at university positions because I love college. Like people don't believe me when I say that, but I love college so much. I never want to leave. Like this is 
great. You interact with people all the time. It's just a great experience. Like, I love school. So, I never want to leave. So, I want to work at a university or a technical college. I am not particular. I just want to be involved with students, particularly first-year students, because I really enjoy working with them. I think freshmen keep me young. I think they keep me on my toes. You know, they're hilarious. I worked with them forever when I was a peer mentor. So, um, it's so nice to see them experience this life for the first time. You know, the first time out from under their parents wings you know it's really interesting because I remember being 18 seems like a long time ago even though it wasn't just seems like it was and I know that that was important to me to have a guide to have a, a mentor so on and to talk to them about the things that I was you know worried about or wasn't really sure of but now I am so it's good to give that back so I want to work at a school particularly with first years I like helping them I like advising them I like watching them grow and I know that they don't stay the same you know they never they start out as these inexperienced you know 18 year olds and then by the end of that year some of them not all of them some of them end up becoming really mature and changing and growing and that's what I want for all my students so I would love to be able to do that with them so I've been looking at universities up north because I love Valdosta endlessly but I think after this um, I'm content to stay for at least a year but I'm also content to leave immediately like I'm um, wherever the wind goes at this point and well wherever the job offer goes at this point and so that's something that I've really been working on and like tightening up my resume and tightening up my cover letters because I want them to be good because as soon as January comes I want to send them out with the quicks because I know it's time you know and I want to be going on interviews next semester so that I'm not job hunting at the last minute so that when May comes, it's time for me to leave. Um, really July, because my lease is up in July. So I'm content to stay here until then. But And school systems usually start working end of July, beginning of August, because they want you in the thick of things before school starts. So I'm content to do that. But I would also like to know where I'm going so I can find a place, because can't live on the streets. Got to have somewhere to live. So um, get some furniture, get different things. So I'm very excited about that. That's something new, and it's like... It, the crazy part is is that it's coming like you know you talk about that kind of stuff but when it's coming it's like brace yourself because you don't want to be behind but you don't want to move too quickly either you know you want to go with the first job offer you want to wait and hold out for the right salary the right location the right position you know and whew, it's crazy so um praying about that gotta get it right guys got to but I hope that um that's something that has really I hope it's something that will work out and I hope it's something that I can look back on and say, okay, I made all the right decisions in this. And even if I made mistakes, I want to be able to learn from them. And last but not least, being a GA, you know, um, not the money, but the experience and what I feel about it. Um, I would not trade my time as being a GA. I have enjoyed it so much. It's been such an eye opener because as I stated earlier in the very, very first vlogs, it was like being around professors is so interesting when you're working with them behind the scenes. Because you see what it takes to be a professor. You see what it takes to make these lesson plans, get ideas, create um, work. You know, you're not, you're not just guessing as a student anymore. Now you work with them, they call on you, they ask you for advice, you input. But you also sit back and just observe and learn. And I tell you, I've learned more than possible. So, more than I thought possible anyway. So I've enjoyed that so much. And people ask all the time, do you like your position? Do you like it? And I'm like, I love it. I love the... I love the the non-rigidity of it, if that makes sense. Like, nothing about it is rigid. It's something new every day. And I love it. Even doing a YouTube channel is something I never thought I would do. And, like, now this is part of their job. You know, this is, like, I watch professional YouTubers, and they do this in their spare time. Like, this is their life. Like, this is part of my job, which equates that it reveals a different level of Camden. Like, I can sit here and tell you about my personal life, which is what they do on their channel. But I instead get to talk to you all about my professional life, which is absolutely crazy because... For a long time, I didn't have one because I was just a student. <laughs> but now it's like this is what I do, you know, as a as a person, you know, as a this is what people expect of me now, and this is where I'm at. So it's very different, but I've enjoyed it immensely. So that's all I want to say about that. That I love being a GA. I love being in this department. I think Com Arts is home. I even when I leave next year, ooh, I can already see the waterworks. Like I love this place. I love the staff. I love the faculty. Um, I just, I love it all. So I've enjoyed so much being a GA here. You know, next semester is the last one. I hope to ride it out strong and get all the advice that I can and take it with me onto my next life. So I uh, hope that it works out. But I've enjoyed just telling you guys about this. And uh, comment down below if you want some more real life vlogs where I tell you the real, real behind this because it's easy to talk about work. But 
you guys want to know about me sometimes. So I'm happy to share that. So if anyone has any questions, please comment down below. Email me, contest on our Twitter. We want to hear it all, guys. So this was one of the most open vlogs I've had. So I'm content to do more. But I want to hear from you guys. So let me know if you need anything or if you have anything to say. So I'm going to sign off now. So peace.